So in this video we're going to show you how to get better performance in games through a few simple tips. Now these tips aren't involving like hardware changes, you know, overclocking, buying a new graphics card, RAM, you know, processor, whatever. It's just basic software tips like updates and all that sort of stuff which actually do help a lot especially in new games seeing uh, like a lot of things aren't perfected in new games and they're always bringing out new things to make it run better so of course our first tip would be to download the latest drivers which we have shown in another video but basically you just go to your card manufacturers website select uh, your card your um, operating system uh, like this and once it's downloaded you just install it you can check which current driver you have well if you have an NVIDIA card through the control panel just click on system information down here and there you go it's just here now these drivers are specific for new games you know like a new game is released the companies like NVIDIA and ATI will uh, make their drivers so they run these games better so you can see you know huge increases you could triple your speed by well there's a chance you could triple your speed through just driver downloads so if you're experiencing lag always got to do this first now the next tip if you're an online gamer you should be fine but if you play offline a lot uh, make sure your game's up to date make sure you have the latest patch a lot of the time that fixes a lot of uh, issues so you just type your game in go to their website download the patch <coughs> there's a few we other websites around that you can get them from as well uh, you could also defrag your hard drive through the default defrag or you could download one so it's just here this basically what a defrag does is like rearranges all the data on your hard drive say you've installed something you've uninstalled it you know you've un you've installed all these little things you've uninstalled them again you know they all get jumbled up on the on your hard drive and say like you'll have all this spare space on your on your hard drive in certain certain areas of it of the disk and like when you go to install a new program it's going to install it in those certain areas so when you're running the game it's going to uh how do I say it? like it's going to the little pin on the on the disk is going to move around um instead of just being in one section of the disk reading it it's going to be all over the place reading it alright so you just analyze disk or just defrag it and you choose which one easy and you could also download this free program called CCleaner which cleans your hard drive all, like all the temporary files all the files that you know you don't need so you could remove up to 10 gig uh, of data, un unneeded data from your hard drive. I've done this recently so it's not going to come up with too much but you never know. So there we go there's nearly 500 meg usually there's a lot more than that but because I've just recently done it. Uh, so once you've done that it's a good idea to do the defrag after you've run CCleaner uh, one other thing you, you could do is buy a hard drive just for your games or make a partition just for games and that'll just keep all the games installed on one part or if there's one game that you really love I don't know you could just install that on one tiny partition and not install anything else on that and or you could install that game first before you install a lot of other programs that should uh, f make it run a lot without being fragmented and finally if you know you've tried everything your games aren't running that well 
you could just reinstall the game or you could reformat your operating system so what reformatting means is you just you wipe it off you reinstall your whole operating system and you start from scratch which is obviously going to be the last resort but uh, sometimes it's necessary especially Windows XP users Windows 7 it's pretty good I've I've had Windows 7 installed for for months now uh, the performance hasn't really dropped off much where well, Windows XP by now would have been you know a lot slower Windows Vista is alright even though I hate it <laughs> if you know any other tips or tricks just leave a comment you'll be helping people who are obviously having difficulties with their performance and thank you for watching